Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Point. And friendly reminder that this video was recorded on Tuesday. When we go live, we go live every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. But guess what? Today's show presented by Panda Sups. And if you use code Panda Nation, you're going to get 25% off at pandasups.com. Try the awesome protein that they have. I recommend the fruity, the chocolate, cookies and cream, strawberries and cream. It's going to be the best protein that you've ever consumed. Let's go to LC Raider. What up, brother? What did the Panthers make a lot of sense for Renfro? They could be an option. It has been a team that I've brought up before because of how aggressive Carolina has been. On top of that, you want to be able to get your young quarterback, Bryce Young, a solid safety blanket in terms of a slot receiver. However, though, like DJ Moore being the... Like, DJ Moore and Renfro are two totally different players in terms of how they play their game. Carolina, though, I do think could make some sense. They're not in my top five of destinations, but yes, could make some sense. Let's go to Joshy B. Who do you think is a better season between Mayer, Laporta, and Kincaid? And why do you think Mayer wasn't the first tight end selected in the draft? Why he wasn't the first tight end selected, I actually don't have an answer behind that because he was the best tight end in this year's class. And not that it was clearly the best tight end, but in my opinion, he was. Kincaid might have been able to fit a certain system better than Mayer. To me, though, it depends. What do you classify as a better season? Statistically, I might say Dalton Kincaid because I think he's going to get more opportunities. But overall, better year, like... Mayer is clearly the best blocker out of all of these tight ends here, and it's not particularly close to me. Better career, Michael Mayer. But what do you consider the better season? Because if it's overall what impact they make on a team, the answer is going to be Michael Mayer. Let's go to Aggressive Master Raider. What's well, going to take to get a blackout color rush game? They look so dope. I've been begging for... A Raiders all black helmet, jersey, pants type of color rush game. The Raiders have the best colors in the NFL. Whew, nobody's ever going to dispute that. However, at the end of the day, like one game a year, just one game a year, an all black jersey, I'm on board for it. Let's go to Dylan. You're next up here on the Raiders report. With NFL teams going away from the fullback, will the Raiders keep Jacob Johnson? I actually think this is more comes down to Josh Jacobs. If I'm Josh Jacobs and I, let's say, sign the franchise tag or get an extension, I'm going to say, hey, I just led the NFL in rushing with 1,653 yards with Jacob Johnson. If you're going to make me sign that franchise tag or give me a contract extension, I better have my fullback back. If you do not anticipate Jacobs returning, and then if Jacobs doesn't return, then I'm not going to keep Jacob Johnson. So that's how I would look at this. If you're looking for Raiders coverage 24-7, 365. Hit that subscribe button. One person who I know always goes hard in the paint. Giggity. That mother effort Trivan. Let's give a shout out to Trivan in the chat. Send in a hundo to super chat. My God. New subs. We got Alabama Scar. Really small <laughs> Wang. Working mathematician. Little Jack Hands. And Peter. There's no way these are all real people. Hit that subscribe button now and to all five of y'all, please do a big favor for me and send that link down below with your little hands to some more Raider fans. Anytime we get a $100 Super Chat, I want you to all spam bang because driving bang! How about a boot? Drive in, I'll make you a deal. If I can sub some of those fireball shots for a boot, I'm in. <laughs> Let's go to Mario. Who do you think will have the most rushing yards this season? On the Raiders, Jacobs. In the NFL, it's really hard to see back-to-back -back rushing kings. Look out. Um, I would say a sneaky option might actually be Jonathan Taylor because the Colts are going to run the football even more than what they did last season. And a lot of times, rushing quarterbacks can help out certain players. So I'd say Jonathan Taylor is a sneaky option. Derrick Henry is always going to be up there. Jacobs deserves to be up there as well. Those would be the top three that I would go with. Let's go to A-Rod. Will McClendon Curtis make the final 53? 
I don't think that he does. I want him to make this roster. I think he's a good player overall. I like his versatility. I like his upside. I really hope that he ends up making the practice squad and the Raiders continue to work with him. If he does end up making the final 53, I would love that. I just think that the Raiders would have to end up keeping 10 offensive linemen in order for that to happen. Now, if y'all don't already know, Panda Subs is owned by a diehard Raider fan. That's why they've been a longtime supporter of the Raiders support over two years. And if you're trying to save 25% off on Panda Subs Premium Protein, use code PANDANATION for 25% off at pandasups.com. Now, they did just release two brand new flavors, the cookies and cream and the strawberries and cream, which both have chunks of cookies and the cookies and cream. Froze, freeze-dried, is that how you say it? Yeah, freeze-dried strawberries and the strawberries and cream. 30 grams of protein, only one gram of sugar, around 140 calories per scoop. If you're a chocolate fiend, like I love chocolate, and I really get my chocolate cravings at night. One scoop of this, and I promise you, your chocolate cravings are going to be filled. If you've got more of that sweet tooth for, like, the fruity side, I personally think that this tastes just like the milk from Fruity Pebbles. It's, it's incredible. And then the vanilla ice cream as well. If you're somebody that likes to mix in with fruit, like strawberries, bananas, whatever, into your fruit smoothies, your protein shakes, I do recommend the vanilla. Panda Sup's. Hook it up the nation. Panda Nation's the code. 25% off. Limited time deal. Panasups.com. Let's go to Raider Dan. Tafer has the Raiders keeping Cam Sims. What are the chances that happens? I mean, that's one just win, baby. I would say 10% chance that the Raiders keep Sims. Has he had a good offseason? Yes. He's 6'5". He's 220 pounds. He offers you that red zone ability that the Raiders need. However... I personally think Chris Lacey has had a better offseason than Cam Sims. Smaller receiver, 6'3", still a bigger guy. But overall, if they do end up keeping that larger receiver, I do think it's going to be a battle between Cam Sims and Chris Lacey. I just, I personally don't see Sims making this team, especially if they don't trade away Hunter Renfro. If they trade Renfro, that's a different conversation. Will the Raiders keep Cam Sims? Type K for keep, or you think they're going to end up cutting him? I want you to type C for cut. I'm going to be real. I'm, uh, I'm going to probably cut type C for cut. He probably would end up making the Raiders practice squad then. Let's go to Thomas P. Who is your surprise players? One from offense and one from defense that makes the starting roster? Whew. Starting roster compared to 53 man is a little bit different. All right, so surprise player on the starting roster... Let's go with Thayer Munford at right tackle. That would surprise me. You kick in Jermaine Illuminor then at right guard. On the defensive side of the football, let's go with... Let's go. I think people would be surprised to see Tyree Wilson out there right away because of the injuries, because of the Chandler Jones. They're like, oh, they're not going to play the same guys on the field. I'll also say Neil Farrell Jr. Watch out for those names. Let's go to Drew. They'll trade 13... Eight will leave, and the Raiders will sign Cook and Hopkins because of McDaniels. I mean, here, here's my honest opinion behind what you just said there. DeAndre Hopkins is a better fit for, I think, what the Raiders are trying to do plus of what they have to pay him. If I told you DeAndre Hopkins is 13 mil compared to Hunter Renfro at 13 mil, Hopkins is a better receiver than Hunter Renfro. Then you got Josh Jacobs and Dalvin Cook. Jacobs is clearly a better running back than Dalvin, but... Dalvin Cook does have that connection with Raiders running back coach Kennedy Palomalo from their time together at Minnesota. I don't think that this makes your team better, Moving trading 13 and moving on from 8, going out and getting Hopkins and Cook. But I actually don't think it's that far-fetched of an idea. Let's go to h Tyne Raider. Besides Renfro and Jacobs, who is another player that could get traded this offseason? Oh, boy. Uh, let's go with, I'll continue to throw out the name of Brandon Parker because he can play both right tackle and left tackle, and the silver and black are pretty deep at the tackle positions right now. I'll say Matthew Butler. Matthew Butler is an intriguing name where I do think a team would be like, this guy was drafted in round five. I'm sure somebody likes him a little bit more and would be willing to give the Raiders like a seventh round pick for him. How about this, though? I like this. Name a Raiders trade candidate, not name Hunter Renfro or Josh Jacobs that could end up getting dealt. 
We always talk about Renfro. We always talk about Jacobs. Give me another name that could be dealt by the Raiders. Let's go to John Scheffler. you got to always remember this guy's name or else he'll get you. I believe 100% they would have traded Renfro by now if they found a trade partner. I agree with that. I mean, if the reports are true that nobody has called the Raiders about Renfro, uh, the Raiders aren't just going to just give him away for a seventh-round pick. That's not going to happen. They want the value. The unfortunate part for the Raiders is they haven't seen any interest yet in Renfro. Let's go to Martin. If Bolden makes it, who doesn't? If Brandon Bolden ends up making this roster, that means that you're probably moving on from a certain offensive lineman that could have made it. Maybe a defensive tackle like Anesta Jade Silvera. Offensive lineman like, I don't know, a Greg Van Roten. Maybe a, an Alex Bars. From a defensive end standpoint, Adam Plant Jr., Jordan Willis, linebacker, Luke Masterson, safety, Isaiah Paul Lameo. Like, there's no reason to keep Brandon Bolden. What up, Rebel? Are you going to cover preseason games? Yes. We are going to be live, and we're going to be doing watch parties for all three of the Raiders' preseason games, August 13th, August 19th, and I want to say August 26th as well. We will be live. We will have giveaways, and we're going to be going crazy. That I can promise you. And I hope that you join our Raiders preseason games because they're a lot of fun. They're they're a lot like Thursday night football. We let our hair down a little bit. We get wild. So hopefully you guys all tune in and enjoy our content here on the Raiders Report.